Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, and you? Good, good. How was your day? So cool. Eh, normal. Yes. Was normal, yeah. The same. <laughs> so and you? Yeah, a little busy, but it's okay. I like I like to have many activities. Yeah, I can imagine. Because when you have many activities, I feel the day goes very fast. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you only have mm -hmm. when 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 the soccer field, the time is pretty fast. Uh huh. The same, the same, right? Yeah, the, yeah, the same. Uh huh. But when you don't have a lot of activities, it's ah, the slow is very difficult. The days. But if you like, if you like it, it's really fast. Yes, it's true. It's true. Mm hmm. So. We're going to see. Moises, how was your day? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Moises. How was your day, Moises? Uh, very well. I'm tired <laughs> oh. to work. In uh huh. What did you do today, Moises? Uh, um, I'm. I work at seven o'clock mm -hmm. a.m. a.m. Um. And out at uh, seven o'clock by uh, five p.m. to seven p.m. I play ball. Uh, it's como se llama ping pong. <laughs> ah, ping pong. Yeah. Okay. Where Is do you good? play? Where do you play ping pong? A, in my work. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ah. I would like I would like to play um, pool. Mm -hmm. Pool. Yeah, but when I yeah when I wanna when I wanna play pool, I um I was nine nine years old. Nine. Yeah, nine. Ah. Okay. I was okay. a kid. <laughs> yeah. Y eso es para mayores de 18 años, ¿va? En El Salvador, yes. Pero en otro, sí. en otro es, es normal, dicen que jueguen en billar. I, I, I play pool when I was, I think, maybe the first time I played pool, I was maybe 12 years old. 12, 13. You? Yes, yes, yes. Do you? Oh, can no, you play? Oh, younger. I, I, I play pool when I was 10. When I was 10 years old is when I, oh, when I play pool. Mm -hmm. So it was a kid. Yes, it's a, it's a game for kids. But in El Salvador, the problem is that, that they put the game for adults. But in the U.S., it's a game for kids. Where, where do you born, teacher? San Vicente. Oh. Mm -hmm. I was You're born. You're going to learn to play. Billar, In, yes, pool. I play. I learned to ah, play pool. pool. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero no, no he tenido la oportunidad. Ah, it's fun. It's fun. 
it's a little difficult, but ah, some techniques is okay. It's easy to play. My my brother worked in my brother worked in bartender. Ah, okay. In a, ¿cómo se dice? In a bar. Ah, uh, yeah, in a bar. Mm -hmm. He has he has a pool and. And and he sent the video when when he plays plays pool with her with his friends. Is and good. I would like play. Yeah, I would like play. I would like to play pool, but. Yo perdí en el teléfono jugar. No problem. Uh huh. Well. We're going to continue. It's good. It's good to have some activities, some hobbies. Okay. It's important. Today, we're going to look at vocabulary. And we're going to look at vocabulary for school is the first activity. Okay. So as we can see in the chart, there is a lot of different places. Okay. For school days, we have classes, schools, and places. And we're going to learn the words from 5.12, 5.12, how to describe the school days. So let's watch the video. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes, history, math, physical education, science, schools, Okay, so what were the classes? What did they say for classes? They said? History. Mm -hmm. Math. Correct. Physical education. Yes. Science. And science. Very good. Very good. Now let's listen for the next words. College. Schools. College. Elementary. High, junior high, places. For schools, what do they say for schools? Again, teacher. Elementary. High. Elementary. Uh huh. What else do they? What other schools are they? High. 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 High school. Junior uh -huh. high. Junior high. Junior high and. In college. And college, correct, and college. Now let's listen for places. Classroom, gym, lunchroom, playground. Now, uh, what was the one for places? Lunchroom. 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 Playground. Uh, playground. Playground. Uh, gym. 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 And the classroom. No classroom. Okay. Is okay all of the vocabulary? Yeah, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into three different sections. Classes, schools, and places. For example, under places, you can add classroom. Then, I would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Try to make as many questions and answers as possible. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. So we're going to practice making questions in the past. Did you go to Remember, did is with action. For example, here, go is action. Was and were, no actions. What were your favorite subjects in schools is no, uh, is no actions. It's only topic, subjects. Okay, so remember, for places, for schools, sorry. For schools, we can use where. Where did you go to elementary school? Where did you go to high school? Where did you go to junior high school? Where did you go to college? Then we can ask here, what were your favorite subjects in high school? 
What were your favorite subjects in college? What were your favorite subjects in elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in junior high school? Okay, so we're gonna make the two questions with did and were, and only change the schools and change the topic. Is it okay? Any questions? I'm going to be honest with you. Yes. I, I didn't understand you. Okay, no problem. We are going to make questions with the words from schools. So for example, I say, where did you go to junior high school? Where did you go to uh, college? Or elementary. Where did you go to elementary school? So you're going to use the first one. Where did you go? And then the school. Where did you go to and change the school? It's okay, number one. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Then number two is we use were. What were your favorite subjects in? And then we change in college, in elementary school, in high school, in junior high school. We change the topics for what were your favorite subjects in schools for the different classes. Okay. So question number one here, vocabulary from schools. Question number two, vocabulary from classes. Okay. Any questions? Yes, it's okay. Yeah, the chair is okay. Okay, so, okay. so let's make a, an example, okay? I say, Vanessa, okay? What was, okay? And I can use your or what or where did, right? because we have two questions. The questions where did and what were. I'm going to begin with where did. So I say, Vanessa, where did you go to elementary school? Vanessa, where did you go to elementary school? Elementary school. Remember, elementary school is first, second, third. The, the low grades, the low grades. This is elementary school. Is my I went. I went go I went to the Okay, it's okay, it's okay, Vanny. It's okay. Como se llamaba la escuela, Vanny? Como se llamaba la escuela? Centro escolar Alberto Mafara. Okay, okay. So, exactly. Entonces, cuando alguien te pregunta, ya sabemos. Okay. Where did you go to elementary school? Ah, ¿cómo es la oración? El pasado de, de go is... Where did you go? Uh -huh, pero la respuesta, no la pregunta. ¿Qué es el pasado de go? I went to the high school, Alberto Mafra. Okay, that's it. I went to Alberto Masferrer School. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, if, if, okay. Only you okay. have to listen for the school. You have to listen, ah, elementary school. I mean, High school, a uh, college, only necessary. Listen the different the different schools. Oh. Uh, 
Is okay or one more example? Okay. Okay. Elementar es lo mismo o uh, high school. Ah, ok. Vamos a cambiarlo. De, ya. Vamos a cambiar cuatro diferentes, ¿vale? Ok. ¿Cuáles son las palabras que aprendimos para schools? Era elementary school. Math. No. Junior high. Junior high. A junior high. Uh -huh. What else? What else? In college. College. Y falta uno. In physical education, no. No, those are classes. Elementary. 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 Okay, so we have elementary, college, junior high, uh -huh, junior college, high college, and high. Okay. Elementary. Yes, elementary school. Primer ciclo. Ok, primer ciclo. Excelente. And then, junior high school. Segundo ciclo. Segundo ciclo, excelente. Y después, high school. Tercer ciclo. Tercer ciclo, oh. exacto. Bachelorato. Uh -huh. College. Universidad. Universidad. University. Exacto. Así que dependiendo de cada uno, así van a contestar. Where did you go to elementary school? Okay. Where did you go to college? Where did you go to a junior high school? Like that. Ajá, uh -huh, Eduardo, es high school. High school. Okay. It's okay. Any questions? The answer sería, I went to go y the number school. Más o menos. Solo que no vas a usar dos ver, el mismo verbo dos veces. Es I went to. I went, I went to. Okay. Uh -huh. I went to. Okay. 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 Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer seis preguntas, six questions and six answers. Six questions and six answers. Okay. Okay. Ana, any questions? Any problems? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known but he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish-language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world. 
but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish-language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Live in La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Teacher. Yeah. Me puede mover, porfa, el grupo, que me salí sin querer. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Sure. Let's see. I was in room one. I put you on uh, with Crisia. Yep. Thank yep. you. You're welcome. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known, but he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish-language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Live in La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever.
Eh, Claudia. Hi. Hey, a little late today. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> It's a difficult day today, Claudia. Okay, any questions on how to make the question or how to make the answer? No teacher. No? Okay, Crisia, give me one example. Ask Eduardo. Okay, Eduardo, where did you go to junior high school? I went to Manuel Belgrano High School. Okay, good, Eduardo. Ask Ana Beatriz. Beatriz. Uh, what were your favorite place in junior high school? Repeat, please. Was were your favorite place in junior high school? I was a uh, football soccer. Sería, <coughs> yes, yes, soccer, soccer. Yes, Eduardo. What are places? Places, lugar. Lugar. Ah, places, play, les guste. Sorry. Uh, no, it's okay, it's okay. Ana Beatriz, ask Alexander. Alexander, where did you go? Elementary school. So, so, repeat the question, Ana. Where did you go to elementary school? Correct. Okay. Uh, I went to Renacimiento Elementary School. Hey, exactly. Okay. So good job. That's the idea. You make the questions. And then no problem. Right? We make the answer okay. in the past tense. Now we're going to listen and read about Ricky Martin. Now we're going to listen and read about Ricky Martin. Okay, here, this is for 5.14, 5.14. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish-language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English-language album. That album was called 
Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Okay. So as you can see, After th it's all about Ricky Martin and his life. Now, with your partner, we're going to read again, listen and read again. And in the next part, 5.15, you are going to answer the questions about the information from the reading. So, one more time, with your partner, practice the reading. For example, I read Ricky Martin, my partner read at the age. I read Martin, my partner read back in the US. I read the album, my partner, now he's famous. Then when we finish, we go to the next activity, 5.15, and we answer the questions. It's okay? It's okay. Okay, good. So listen, read, read the question and then answer. Let's take a few moments. Maybe only five minutes, no, six minutes.
Okay. Is the reading okay? Any pronunciation, any words you don't know? Uh, what's the mean soap opera? Ah, soap opera, for example, Betty La Fea, eh, el Cartel de los Sapos. These are oh. soap operas. Okay, it's the appear up uh, back in the USA. He appeared. Correct. Appeared. appeared. Is similar he was on television. He was on television. He appeared in television commercials. Como apareció? Yes, more or less, more or less. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other words? Okay, then let's check if no more questions. Let's see, number one, 5.15. When was Ricky Martin born? On, On December, December 24, 24, 1971. Excellent, very good. That is the correct pronunciation. Very nice. Where was Ricky Martin born? In San, Juan, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Okay, good. How old was Ricky Martin when he joined the Latin boy band Menudo? He, he was 12 years old. old. Okay, good. And why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Because he was, because he was, he was frustrated. frustrated. Good. Frustrated. For Frustrated. Frustrated. Correct. Frustrated. Yeah, Frustrated. Mm -hmm. Very good. So all of those. Now we no, completed five. Very good job. Okay. Oof. So that means that on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the next weekend, we have the test. And the test is a little long. Do you see? We have six sections. Section, section is long. It's a little long, yes. Six. Mm -hmm. it's, not it's not obligation to complete in one moment. Mm -hmm. For example, today, section A. Tomorrow, section B. And uh, Sunday, section C. It, it's little by little if you want. But the first is listen. Listen and answer the questions. Okay. So first, important, read, then listen, check the answer, and then listen again. Remember, if you want to listen two times, three times, four times, it's okay. It's your decision. You can listen many times. Letter B is complete the sentence. You are going to use the map for the directions and you're going to look at the map and complete, okay? If you want the map big, only click here. And when you click, you have a big map, okay? So Teacher. Yes. Teacher, I'm sorry. Uh, what's the meaning across from? Uh, is in the other street, is the street the, the house in front. But no in front of. Not necessary in front of, exactly. But for example, here we have, a, here is the park. Across from the park is Love's department store. Across from the park is the Regency movie theater. Across from the park is the building. This is across from. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. 
Duque de Sesto a su disposición. Do you have those? Remember, look at the map and answer the three questions. Yes. Letter B. Letter C is you read the question and select. Only select the correct sentence to respond. And letter D is vocabulary. You need to match the verb, okay, with the correct activity. You had, you played, you took the verb with the correct activity. You match. Letter E is only you read the questions or the answer in the conversation and you select. How is the, how do you make the question or how do you make the answer? Okay, letter E. And the last is reading. You read and the information from the reading, yes, you complete. No, we lost the papito. Okay. Any questions for the exam? No, teacher. No. Okay, Claudia, anybody else, any questions? No, it's clear. Okay, excellent. In this moment, we are going to use the future. The future, we're going to talk about Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you can say to your partner, okay, what are you going to do on Saturday, for example? Okay. Or I can ask, where are you for the location? Where are you going to go? On Saturday. Okay, so we are going to talk about the future. Remember the future going to. So the answer, ah, I am going to. And your answer. I am going to go to La Gran Vía. Okay, I am going to uh, clean my house. I am going to, yes, the different activities. I'm going to cook uh, lunch, for example. So with our partners, we're going to ask for the future, what are you going to, and answer with our partners. It's okay? Okay. No, yes, no questions? Okay, how do you say mandados? How do you say mandados? Delivers. Errands. Excellent. Errands. Excellent. It's errands. Okay. Okay. How do you say uh, uh, activities in the house? How do you say the activities? The responsibilities in the house, clean, wash dishes. Obligation. Good, obligations. These are, the name are called chores. Chores. It's okay? Okay. All right. So remember, it's important. Speak, 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 speak. The activity, no, stop speaking. The activity is practice speaking. Practice speaking is the activity. Talk about the future. Let me see. Okay.
Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on Second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up Second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on Second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up Second to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks.
Okay, let's practice. Alexander, ask Ana Beatriz. Okay. Um, Ana, what are you going to do on Saturday? Okay, Ana, Ana Beatriz. Okay, <laughs> no Ana, maybe has problems. Okay, Crisia. <laughs> Alex, Alexander, ask Crisia. Okay, teacher. Crisia, what are you going to do on Saturday? Please repeat. What are you going to do on Saturday? Okay, I am going to get up at seven o'clock and I am going to, to cook breakfast. Uh, then I, I am going to take a shower and I, I am going to the soup. I am going to go to soup. I am going to go supermarket uh, and I'm, I am going to Plaza Merli go to the Plaza Merlion. Very and nice, Crisia, very nice. Crisia, ask Moises. Moises, where are you going to go on today? Where are you going to go today? Uh, I I'm not going to never place. <laughs> <laughs> it's late, huh? It's late. It's, uh, it's late. Okay, good. Very good. Now, today we finish unit five. We finish lesson five. So, remember, fr uh, today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Practice, complete unit five. Complete unit five in the platform. If you want, advance with the exam, okay? If you have time. Any questions? Okay. Teacher, uh, the module finished uh, 27, Thursday. October 27. Um, Thursday, October Thursday. 21st. No, not 27. Next week. Ah, okay. okay. On Thursday. Only four classes. We have four more classes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's necessary complete lesson five. Complete lesson five. Okay. 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 Have a nice weekend. I see you on Monday, the last four classes. Okay. Good night, teacher. Nice teacher. Good, Good night. night. Thank Bye. you. Night. You're welcome. Good night. Good night.